It is amazing that Brittany Shazier is still alive after being shot in the head. Her close friend, Amethyst Fisher. I worry about her children. Um, she's a very strong woman, so there's not much she can't get through. Brittany's close friends, including Fisher, have been worried about her husband, Jonathan Shazier, who they describe as violent in their relationship. There's been multiple restraining orders that have been put in place, and they have obviously been ineffective. Um, Either they were not severe enough or when violations occurred, they were not taken seriously. According to court documents, last March, Mr. Shazier allegedly pushed Brittany to the floor, bruising her tailbone and disconnected the battery from her car so she couldn't leave their home. A few days later, Jonathan allegedly grabbed his wife's keys from her, breaking her key ring, cutting her. The spouse that is the victim of whether that be physical abuse, mental abuse, torment, um, my friend has been trying to go the correct route. Seven months later, in October, Brittany reported her husband to police again, following an argument on where his work boots were. Brittany told police Jonathan grabbed her arm and pulled her phone out of her hands before running out of the house. He was charged with assault and battery in the October incident. She's a mother. She's a good person in our community. She is has more faith and more strength, and I don't know where she gets it from, especially knowing what she's had to endure in her house from a man that is supposed to love her. And just a week before Jonathan shot Brittany, he pleaded no contest to the assault and battery charge. This means he did not plead guilty, but acknowledged there was enough evidence against him for a judge to find him guilty.